back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a fall haul. Um, if you guys love watching fall hauls and want to see more, I'll definitely link down my one from last year. I might have even had two. I think I had two, which I will also have two from this year because I'm, again, going to Amish country, so I'm sure I'm going to find something. The Dollar Tree. I just got a cute little kind of serverware from there just because I... I'm planning on having a Halloween party, but if not, I can definitely drink in a really cool fashion, I guess. But I got this um, skull, I almost said ghost, this skull pitcher. Just if I have a party, I'm going to be using the pitcher. If I don't have a party, then this would be pointless. I guess I could make my sweet tea in here, but, you know, there's no lid. So, anyways, I bought this. It's cute. It's small. It's petite. I bought it in the darker black version just because if I decided to put pop in it, it would be even darker, which black is an obsession of mine. I love black, and you'll tell shortly. I also got six goblets. I got two in the clear, which, yeah, here's, I mean, it's hard to see, but they're also the skull face, and I'm going to call them goblets, even though who knows what in the heck they are. Um, and I don't know. I mean, they feel okay. This would probably last me for two seasons. I'm going to assume unless it gets broken at the party I plan to have. But if I don't have a party, I'm okay. Like, I'm going to drink out of these regardless. Only thing is, guys, do not put these in the dishwasher. I don't even know if it says they're dishwasher safe, but I just would not risk it. I mean, I know it was only a dollar, but you know. So I also got it in the dark black, which matches the picture. And I also got... And in the orange, which I think black is the one I'll be drinking out of. But I just decided to get one of each because if I have three people over or if there's four people over, I don't know. At least I'll know, like, I got a white, I had a clear, or I had an orange, and I had an orange too. And you know what I mean? So it can kind of be a little organized with that sense because, I mean, I don't care if I share drinks with my friends. So, but, you know. Why am I covering that back up? So I got two of each color, basically. I also got a six pack of shot glasses. These are, they just say pick your poison. They're dark black with a cross skull and crossbone. And then for my office space at work, I found these glitter pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns, I guess, to hang up my cubicle. I don't know if I'll use them all, but I plan to. You only get five pieces, which I guess is fine. Um, this will, like, last me one season and I'm going to throw them away. I don't plan to keep these, but I just thought they were cute for work. And then I also got an oven mitt that says Happy Halloween. They also had another design. It was all orange with a kind of cartoony witch on it that was green and everything like that. But I just decided to get this because it's a little more classic. I'm not really a Halloween kind of girl, but, like, this year I was really feeling the Halloween kind of vibe. Like, a dark, creepy vibe. Normally I'm just, like fall, gold, white, and this year I'm a little bit more on the Halloween side. I'm not really sure why. And then I also got a set of two pot holders, and they also match and say Happy Halloween. They match the oven mitt. So that's what I got from Dollar Tree. But anyways, so I got this pumpkin. This is the, what well, I don't know what they call this. It's the medium pumpkin, in my opinion. This is a medium pumpkin, beach pumpkin, but this is like the medium. They didn't have anything bigger. This is their largest, but I'm going to say it's medium size. As you can see, my head in this pumpkin, basically the same size if you were to like turn it. I mean, am I right? But anyways, it's just like a white glitter background with black, chunky, hexagonal glitter kind of just sprinkled down the side, just kind of an ombre Look at that. Oh, yes, hunty. So, yeah, I mean, this was 8 bucks, and I definitely plan to use it again next year. Because, I mean, I don't mind making blacks and golds work together. I don't really care about it. Then I also got this pumpkin, which this stuff keeps falling off from the top, which is fine, but you can't, like, really tell. But anyways, so this one is a mini pumpkin. And it's about, I would say this is about five or six inches tall, probably five inches. And it's got fine glitter here. And then at the very top, it's very chunky sequin glitter with some little seed beads up at the top. 
that is what keeps falling off. They're not attached very well, but this was only three bucks. And I mean, I feel like this looks realistic, if you know what I mean. And like I said, it was three dollars. It's really freaking cute. So I really, really love this. So this one's like a taller version. And then I got this one, which is also like it's glittery, kinda, but it's it's chunky sand with glitter in it. It's basically what it looks like. There's a white dot on it, and it's not coming off. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to have to sharpie it. Oh, wait, it came off. It came off. So here it is. It's kind of a flatter, shorter pumpkin, as you guys can see. Um, again, I feel like it looks realistic, but it doesn't really glisten or anything like that, which is fine with me, but I was just really into these black pumpkins. This was also $3. I think I took the tag off. I did. Um, but yeah, got that. And... I found these two in the one spot, and then I got the bigger pumpkin in the back where all the decorations were. I also got this in the one spot as well. This is just a little black kitty that's chalkboard. I also previously, like a month ago, bought a felt ink sign. It's like really cute with an orange, and it's set with like cobwebs printed on the orange felt and then in like felt letters it has eek there's like three little pendants to it and it says eek with a black pom-pom I got that and I also got a haunted house haunted house chalkboard kind of thing too that was three dollars as well so I found this in the crafting section of the one spot and this was just like a black cat which is part of our update this little so this way I got that you'll find out if you watch it um and it does come with chalk, which I thought was, like, nice, because the other one didn't, and I don't have chalk, so I wasn't going to write anything on it anyway. I don't really plan to either, maybe, like, October 31st, but I don't really plan to write anything. I think this even will come off the ridge, so if I wanted to, I could, like, adhere it to the wall, but I'm not going to do that. But, yeah, so that's what it looks like. This was only a dollar, so there are still dollar things. And then the last thing I got from there... Oh, can it reach? Okay, I'm going to turn the camera a little bit. So, this is a ceramic, it's glass. I don't know how to tell you. I don't know, it's glass, guys. I can't. Oh, yeah, you heard it. You see, it's glass. So, inside here, I shoved some little rice lights that are orange, and it glows. It's normally rose gold, which I'll show you here in a second, but I just got, like, a thing of rice lights. I'll show you how I put it in here, basically. But that, oh. I love it still. It's not going to be true to what you'll see in, in the store because it looks a little darker than what you would normally see with sunlight because the wire is black that I put in here, but all I did is it has a foam bottom. It is hollow, and I just poked a hole in it with scissors, and I shoved all my lights in here and just duct taped the wire down so it could sit flatter. This one has a particular box that has different settings for the lights, and then you have to plug it into an outlet. It's not battery operated. But uh, this is rose gold, and it's crack gold. It's so beautiful. And with the lights at night, it's so cool. Like in our house, uh, or in our apartment, it's so beautiful. This was $8. Fantastic find. I really, really, really like it. I would even consider using this all year round, and I'm not normally like that. Uh, I used to be into skulls, then I got out of them, I'm coming back to them, I don't know what's going on, but yeah, it's so cute, and I actually don't mind it with gold, they just kind of have to be separate, they can't be like right next to each other, gold and this can't be next to each other, I'm not going to like that, but yeah, so that's that. That is it for my haul. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Share it with all of your friends and I will see you guys on my next video. Be sure to check out my other fall hauls down below and I will see you then. Bye guys.